Hello and welcome back to another sort of combat area video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the stamina, how long does it take to fully recharge, how much you can get per day in total if you wish to refresh, buy more and with specific missions, and the most important part, where you should be spending your stamina. There is a lot of places where you can spend your stamina, right? So that's what I want to be talking about today. So as usual, before we start, do you like, subscribe, help me grow the channel, right? We're going to be playing sort of combat area. We don't really play in every day, I'm not one version on stream if you want to come, but we're going to be playing after release the global version every single day so before we go into the stamina system itself small word about the tier list i'm starting to add also characters that are not in the global version so for example you see cocoa there you'll see eda there to recognize the characters that are not in the global version you'll see that icon on top of them right this icon basically means hey this character is not released in the global version of the game yet so pretty simple right but i think it's important to have them on the tier list so people can plan around specific characters that they really like i might also put a banner schedule at least the one we got on Taiwan uh, so you guys can also check what banners might be coming around in case they do not push this forward now if you prefer also for the stamina to read you can go to the website I already did uh, basically everything in written format so this is the video version for the website as well and for my channel so all that Japanese aside for the intro let's go into the stamina system and how it works so like most games sort of combat has a stamina system I am not a fan of this uh, everyone from my channel that knows me from other gachas knows this I despise the stamina systems just let me play the game but i understand they do it because well gacha games are usually casual or they want to force you to log in multiple times or they want to make you spend money to buy more stamina so it is what it is says lobby now a stamina system you'll be able to get a maximum of 240 and you'll gain one point every four minutes this means in total if you were to be fully empty out from zero to 240 it will take you 16 hours to fully refresh this is a little bit faster than a lot of games so that's that is pretty nice it means you can log in in the morning do a couple sweeps and then in the evening when you're ready to play again have your stamina almost fully recharged if you didn't empty it in the morning now there is multiple ways of recharging your stamina right you can wait of course or you can refill it now to refill the stamina there is two methods so of course you have the method of using these potions which i do not recommend using all right these potions you should be saving for specific events or at the start maybe if you need to farm specific resources since at the start we're going to be lacking a lot of things or you can use gems now gems it's a no-no for literally absolutely everybody unless you are a well it's not worth recharging with the stamina campaign progression a lot of the times is going to be tied to your uh, account level meaning you cannot progress even if you were to be fully recharging a lot of the time you, you'll have to wait one or two days so for the most part it's not worth it not only is it not worth it but it's just too expensive it costs 60 120 240 and 360 crystal for a total of 700 something almost 800 premium currency per day if you want to fully max recharge which of course it's Please don't do that. <laughs> if you're a lower spender, I will say doing it once might be worth it, maybe two, depending how much you spend. So that is the basic way of recharging stamina. There is one more, which is with your daily mission. So if you go to your missions, uh, I just got one for example you'll see that we get twice 60 stamina so we get 120 one after 8 a.m and one after 4 p.m if you log in at 4 p.m you'll be able to claim both of these and that that is 120 extra stamina meaning instead of uh, 240 you can get more than 300 per day not only that but your stamina refreshes also every 16 hours not 24 so you can get basically more than 400 stamina per day if you are a try hard and you want to min max when you're logging into the game to actually use it all right so that is pretty good i will say so let me grab this stamina right here and i'm going to show you guys where we can spend the stamina and what is worth spending it because there is a lot of places where you can spend it so um all of these places you can use your stamina to farm every single day now it is worth going to all of these places no absolutely not so let's talk about these places and where you should be farming so first of all let's start with the tarot emblem tarot cards whatever you want to call them these tarot emblems you should not be farming until max level because this is end game this is literally randomized sub stats that you want to be farming so if i come here to my girl right you'll see that this is bronze uh, ssr bronze and platinum whatever you want to call that right if i go to a call you'll see that this perfect rolls all ssr uh, so this is completely randomized 
two gold, two SSRs. You want to be grinding a lot here at endgame. Until you reach endgame, which is going to take a couple months for most people, you do not grind this. You could do once per day for the extra bonification, but I do not really recommend it. You'll get a plenty of Tarot Emblems at the start of the game while you do your missions that it's not necessary to clear. You can clear the first time for the rewards. I have not been doing it because I'm lazy, but the first time rewards, of course, are always worth it. So the first time rewards worth it, but these do not farm until end game similar situation for the weapons now weapon dupes are good but the good weapons right if i come here and i go back and i come here to the reward the possible rewards the good weapons the ssrs you cannot really get them until end game until the last maps so until you can farm the last or the second to last map this is not worth using your stamina either you could do once again your daily bonus if you wish to right so i can come here and i can do okay 40 stamina i'll just send these three guys and they go and they clear for me and i get the bonification because it's the first time of the day that I clear but as you can see that is 40 stamina for two awful pieces of gear this is not worth it even the first time of the day I will say for both tarot and weapons you should not do it uh, now we go into the shards you should be doing this every single day no exceptions this costs around uh, 40 stamina I believe or 30 stamina you need to do this every single day do not miss out day one start farming this uh, when it comes to experience experience is um, an exception I will say for the most part you will have enough experience as long as you're playing every day that you can max out multiple characters now the moment you want to start racing multiple units to have multiple teams or different options right then you have to start doing sometimes this level for starters, you can clear for the first time reward, and then as you need some, you can start spending some stamina, but it's not recommended to go all in in these levels, all right? So just do it maybe for your daily extra reward. It is worth it. After your daily reward, as you can see, I already uh, did it. If I spend 20 stamina here, and I send two characters, I'm going to be getting uh, only 4,000 experience, which is nothing. So unless you really need experience, I will say it's not worth it outside your daily bonus. Daily bonus, yes. Outside, no. Same applies to this. <laughs> this is what you will use uh, to level up the skills of your characters, to unlock skills on your, on your character. So if I go to anyone, basically, to this girl, for example, and I want to unlock this, you'll use these emblems. Now, these emblems, just by playing the campaign, you will be able to fully max out two characters of each class. Defender, Seeker, Destroyer, um, whatever the others are called, I forgot, Breaker, etc. Right? So two of each class just with the uh, campaign rewards, first time clears, etc. If you want to max out more characters, I would recommend as you need them to do your a daily extra reward. I already did mine today, so I don't have any, but I would recommend just doing that. The extra reward, nothing else. Uh, when it comes to uh, these ones, these are of you should not be getting this even when we talk about the extra reward I the only thing i would recommend is clearing for the first time and then getting your daily bonus that's it nothing else this will take literally months to clear months so outside of your daily bonus i will say it's not really worth it now what is this you might be asking yourself well this is for a skill tree that affects every single character on the specific class so for example if i want to improve all of my defender units i come to this tree and i can improve them with that currency that you can farm in there so this will take literally months to fully max out do not worry about this just do your daily bonus and that's it nothing else so once again the daily bonus nothing else we move into the next one which is going to be the most important one and that is dust and stones this is materials to level up your weapons and your gear and this is where you want to dump all of your stamina literally all of your stamina uh, this is really scarce at the beginning and uh, we're talking about that you need to level up let's say what a couple weapons for each character right you need at least six weapons six accessories and six emblems leveled up so that is a lot of dust and we're talking about only level 40 this can keep going up so you will need a lot of stones and a really lot of dust i would recommend that at the start of the game when you don't have anything to farm when you are stuck on campaign you just come to these levels and farm them nothing else and now of course this is going to depend on the status of your account and what you really need at that moment there is people who might need experience there is people who might need um emblems to level up the characters right it really depends but for the most part that is the best uh the best place to spend your stamina this is the tower this does not got the stamina same for this so don't worry about those two that is more of an end game thing so that is all the places where you can spend your stamina of course not counting the campaign this should be your priority 
I don't think I need to say this, but just in case, this should be your main priority. And then when you are stuck, you'll go into your daily grind. So all that said, you can focus on the task. The other things for the most part, daily bonus, and that's it. A lot of things is not even worth doing daily bonus. So weapons and tarots, you don't need to focus too much on that at the start. You'll get, uh, you'll get plenty just by completing beginner missions, campaign, etc. And the rest, just the bonus. And that's it for this stamina guide. Like I was saying earlier, you guys have all of this on a written format, which is a lot less jumping on the website if you prefer. And it's also a little bit more digestible format. I will put the video in here as well. Any questions you guys have, feel free to leave a comment on the website, on this video, or whatever you need. As usual, thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible. I love you all, bosses. Good luck with your pools. I'll see you in the next one. ヤクタタツは楽園から追放するのに。ブラントのワールの正体まで。ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。